and Baltimore. One, two. Called strike three. He struck him out looking at the fastball in the outside corner at 97. And there's the first strikeout tonight for Mitch Keller. Keller ready with the one, two. Here it comes. Softly bounced out towards short. Picked up by Tucker. Flips the Tolman for one. On to first for the double play. And six to four to three they go to end the inning. Keller works around the walk, faces the minimum in the second. And the 1-1 one -one pitch to Mountcastle. There goes the runner. It swung on and lined to left field. On the move is Elvis Escobar. He reaches up and makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Now it's off to the races at first. And they are going to double off Cedric Mullins for out number two. Here's the 1-0 pitch. He swings and lifts a high fly ball to center field. This is deep chasing bat Cedric Mullins. Still going to the track and it's over his head off the wall. Cole Tucker hits the bag at second. He'll put on the brakes there. And the Phoenix, Arizona native has his second double of the night. And he's in scoring position with just one out in the fifth inning. Hess with the set and the 0-1 pitch. Swinging a line drive, base hit in the left field. Getting the wave around third base is Cole Tucker. Up with it is DJ Stewart and there will be no throw. Curve lead at 1-0 in the fifth. RBI base hit off the bat of Jordan George. Moore's in a league leading 91 RBIs. The 1-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him for strike three. A nasty breaking ball down and away. Rosa Chase. He is out number one in the fifth. The sign, he's got it. There goes the runner. The pitch is high and outside. Throw down to second base. Right on the money and in time for out number two. Jin Jong with an absolute seed down to second base. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. A nasty breaking ball. Down and in at the back foot of Salcedo. He had absolutely no shot. And the pitch. Swing and a line drive. Base hit into left center field. That's going to split the gap. Around third, coming to the plate comes Houston. The throw goes to third, and Tucker's in there, sliding in at second base. Goes Tolman with an RBI single, and it's 2 0 Altoona. Keller trying it again, the payoff pitch. Called strike three, struck him out anyway, and Keller brings it close to the eighth. He's through eight scoreless one hit innings and has faced the minimum. One ball, two strike count. Here's the set, and Keller deals. Breaking ball, swung on and chopped to third. Matheson picks it up, flips to second for one. On to first for the double play, and there are two outs in the ninth inning. And Keller is an out away from a complete game shutout for the curve. Swing a line drive to left. In for it comes Escobar. He makes the catch, and the Altoona curve have tossed a shutout behind Mitch Keller and taken game one of the Western Division Series. He faced the minimum through nine innings tonight. A one-hit shutout for Mitch Keller in the curve take game one by a final score of two to nothing.